Hi, Stacy here with Limelight Easy. Um, really not feeling the whole YouTube thing this week, I think. I'm just not as interested in posting videos. Um, really don't have much to say. I did post an update video because I felt like I needed to since it was time to post one. I'm just not feeling it. Um, so... Um, anyway, so I don't know how much you're going to be seeing of me in the next week or two. Um, not particularly overly depressed, although today I realized that I'm scrolling through my Facebook feed and I see Charlotte this, or racism that, or eminent war, or this person hates this person, or just a lot, or like, you know... People are idiots because they believe X, Y, Z. A lot of very negative stuff. And I'm just like looking at my news feed going, no wonder I am down in the dumps because my escape besides scripture and um, music is Facebook. Like my, when I just can't think straight, um, I'm tired of watching movies and videos. They all are just same to me. And my brain is not got the capacity to be able to dive into any kind of um, studies right now. And so I end up just vegging out on Facebook. Well, it's terrible how much junk there's been. And so I'm like looking at Facebook. I'm like, no wonder I'm down in the dumps. My escape from reality that I am bedridden and unable to get out of my bed is Facebook. And Facebook is crappy. <laughs> Because it's so depressing. So, I ended up posting something to that effect. And it was really nice because I had several people send me things to cheer me up. Which, which was really neat. Um, and I decided, I don't have that many friends. I have maybe a little over 100. I'm really selective about who I let on my Facebook page. Because I don't like drama. Um, I guess I just didn't really note how it had crept in on my Facebook page and kind of took it over. So, um, I ended up going through each individual friend and putting follow on follow, follow on follow. A couple of them made it into C first. Um, but pretty much just tried to make it so that I had happy feed people that I know that pretty much f post photos of kids and, um, pondering thoughts about God and, you know, just more uplifting stuff. So I did do that today because I'm tired of looking at Facebook and being like, wow, this is just depressing, you know? So, um, I don't know. I mean, I've had a couple of days where I've cried a bit this, since I think, uh, oh yeah, since two days ago. Um, and I know the, the reasoning, but I don't want to get into that, it, but it hasn't been terrible. It hasn't been like super bad depression or anything like that. So, um, I guess I will kind of get into it. So my oldest had her second baby and at the first birth I was there, I was able to help her. I was hands on. Um, I know a lot about birth and, um, I love the birthing process. And so I was there for the first ba grandbaby. And so this is the second grandbaby. And I couldn't be there. And that really sucks. And she's going to be at the hospital until tomorrow. And so I can't see the baby until tomorrow. And she had him on Monday. So um, very excited about the baby. But sad that I can't see him. And... So it just, it's kind of put me in kind of a cranky mood or an off mood, especially with the junk on Facebook lately. Um, and I just, I'm just kind of sad. I mean, not only did I miss out on the experience of being there, which I don't know that she wanted me there this time anyway, but I would have liked to be available. You know, this, I wasn't even available for her. Um, and I would have liked to at least been available if 
she wanted me to and be able to go to the hospital right away and see the baby. So, being bedridden sucks. It's my second grandbaby and I just, just want to hold the baby. Anyways, so, the last couple days have just been a little bit rough. I guess more so than I realized. I've been kind of ignoring it and shoving it down. Um, Lyme disease sucks. <laughs> My kids, on the other hand, make really funny sounds. Um, I think that one's Jade. Anyways, um, so it just sort of sucks. And I just, I'm kind of not feeling the whole YouTube thing this week, which is often a distraction for me. Not feeling the videos, the movies, and, and the games, and I just... I just feel kind of at a blah point in my life. Um, I suspect until tomorrow when I get to hold the baby. So, um, I think one other thing that's getting to me is I have, after much contemplation and talking with my husband, I have decided to go ahead and pursue midwifery at a slow pace, um, starting while I'm bedridden. Um, there is a program called midwife to be, um, and it's a unit program. You basically pay $50 for the first unit and that includes like the registration and the first unit and then $25 a unit after that. And there's a total of 30 units. Um, I've got a lot of time on my hands and I don't have the ability to do anything constructive other than read about scripture, um, which I love. And I love that time that I've got with, with Yah to be able to do that. But my brain needs time to process some of the stuff that I've learned about recently. And I need something else to do. And Facebook is, I'm really over Facebook. I, even with the better news feed in there, I'm just kind of over being on my phone all of the time. And I would like a goal, something to work toward. And um, so I decided that the Midwife to Be program, which I learned about from my midwife after contacting her earlier this week, um, my midwife with uh, Orion and Jade, that is, um, she let me know about the program. And I vaguely remember it from when I was working with her once before, but, uh, so she recommended me going ahead and taking advantage of that. It's pay as you go and, um, it's at your own pace. So it's exactly what I want. Um, I really feel that for now, my, um, my role is to be at home with my children, even once the Lyme disease has has the symptoms of the Lyme disease has subsided. Um, Lyme disease has really shown me what is very, very important in my, in my life. Not that I didn't know that they were most important, but it's so easy to place other things in front of it that have, um, time frames that you need to be done with it. And so I have decided that, um, I am going to go ahead and pursue the midwife to be program, but at my own pace so that I can focus on them Well, focus on healing first and then focus on them. And that while I'm bedridden and not able to do much that I start taking advantage of learning about midwifery and learning at least the book knowledge. Um, I mean, I know a lot about birth, but not anywhere near enough to be a midwife. Um, or even really a very effective doula at this point. Um, just enough to be able to know if something's normal or not normal and when you should seek help is pretty much where my knowledge extends to. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of that program. Um, I have to wait until we get our next lump of money, which will probably be the end of the month, but um, I'm looking forward to it. It'll start giving me a, a book list that I need to start acquiring and um, things that I need to read out of that book list. And so it'll be a slow process, but that's exactly what I want. So even once I'm feeling better um, and I'm focusing on the kids, 
that I can do it a little bit at a time with the midwife to be program. Like as I see um, that there's time in my life to do it instead of playing games or whatever, then I will end up doing that. So hopefully by the time I have gotten to a much better place as far as Lyme disease is concerned, then um, I can start potentially taking on more of the physical aspects of, of training um, if the kids are old enough. I don't know. So far at this point, I mean, I've been bedridden almost nine months now. The last two months have been completely bedridden, like no getting out of bed at all. Um, it's going to take time to heal from that. You know, if, if I ever re make a hundred percent recovery, it'll be years from now. So, um, and the Lyme disease protocol is two to three years and I just, just, I've just began that. So we're talking a long, a long road. Um, so maybe I can have a good portion of the head knowledge of midwifery before working with a preceptor so that I can pursue that that um as a career when the kids are older i don't know i just i need something to do i can't use my hands for crafts i can't write because of my hands um videos is pretty much the only thing that i'm doing and i don't really I'm not really feeling that this week i feel like i i could be doing more i could have a goal to reach with the videos there's no real goal it's just uploading videos so, um, as soon as we can, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of the first of the, of the unit studies and start reading up on it and acquiring the textbooks that's required. And who knows where I'll be in eight years of doing this program. So, is there anything else? Um, not really. The important thing was I had a second grandbaby that I get to meet tomorrow. And cannot wait, cannot wait. So I hope you, and, and don't worry about me over the next week or two if I'm not posting much. I don't know, I'm just kind of in a weird funk. And so, I mean, that could change, it may not. I just, I'm not really feeling the whole YouTube thing right now. So I will post updates, let you know if there's any updates. But other than that, I don't, I'm not guaranteeing anything. <laughs> So, anyways, I hope you are blessed. Have a good night, day, whatever, as you're seeing this, and talk to you later.